Hi, in this tutorial I will demonstrate how to use uh, and hibernate uh, which is an object uh, relational mapping solution um, for Microsoft.NET and uh, predates uh, ent the entity framework to uh, perform a, a basic query from a database and to uh, use it to uh, later on uh, perform CRUD operations on the database. To begin I will create a new uh, project uh, of type uh, Windows Forms application. It doesn't really matter uh, what kind of uh, project it is. It could be a console application also. But I think uh, for the purpose of our uh, tutorial, this makes more sense. And I will call this N um, Hibernate Test 1. Um, maybe something more descriptive here. Mm, tutorial part one and um, let's start by referencing the uh, n hibernate assembly which um, we should be able to do and you can download this off the n hibernate website and I'll I'll make sure to leave a link uh, to it uh, on the video. So I'm uh, referencing these two assemblies, the, the IESI collections and Microsoft uh, and uh, and Hibernate. So let's make sure that they are all copy local, which they are. So that's a good first step. Let's add uh, a new file to our project now and um, of type configuration. Good. So before we go any further, um, I'm going to uh, come in this, uh, uh, go to this database, and I'm going to create a new table. And um, say ID and uh, first name. And it should be enough for us for now. So uh, our ID field, we want to make that an identity field. So that it auto increments by one. And we also want to set that as a primary key. And I will call this uh, contact. Great. So uh, I now have my uh, table. So the next thing that I want to do is I will create an object of a class and I will call this uh, contact. A public class. And I'll give it some properties. Um, here which I have prepared just the basic ID first name and last name and that's really all I want for this um, object so the next thing I have to do is I have to create a mapping file so uh, it's uh, an XML file and I will call this contact dot hbm.xml and hbm is the uh, syntax for uh, and hibernate and inside of this um, file I will have to uh, put a few things in here so instead of typing let's um, take a shortcut here and I'll copy and paste this um, map in and I'll explain. Um, 
this is the open in XML uh, statement. It's a Hibernate map, um, which this is the uh, name of our assembly here, and this is the uh, namespace for our assembly. Here is the name of our class, which is called contact, and the ID, which is a identity field, it means it auto increments it, and it gets generated um, uh, by the SQL server. And we've got two fields called first name and last name, which are simple fields. They're called the same in both the database and uh, the uh, class. And that's really all we need for this uh, map object. So next, we will open up our uh, configuration file, the uh, app uh, config file. And we're going to have to uh, copy a few lines of XML in here as well, which I will um, copy and paste in here. So uh, this is basically our mapping uh, um, project uh, configuration. First you have to make sure that the assembly names match. And um, here we've got a connection provider and um, connection driver class, uh, connection string, this is what you use to connect to the database. You may have to modify this. And uh, the name of our database is uh, in Hibernate Test 1. And uh, this is again the assembly name. So it's actually a pretty straightforward uh, configuration string. Again, I will make the source code available so that you don't have to type it. You can just copy and paste it in. So let's uh, compile and uh, run this, uh, see if we uh, uh, can successfully uh, compile, and we can. So that's good. And uh, let's uh, start adding our code in uh, to uh, utilize this um, system. So I'm going to uh, create a couple of different uh, sessions, uh, a couple of different variables here. The uh, first few are, uh, I, I'm going to create a my configuration object, uh, a variable, a, a session factory variable, and a, uh, a session uh, variable. So let's resolve these. Um, Let's resolve these uh, namespaces. And uh, so the next uh, thing that we want to do is the following. We want to initiate uh, an instance of the configuration object. We want to uh, call the configure method, which will load the configuration variables into memory and we will build a session using the session factory and assign it to our uh, session var factory variable and we open the session so that's we have to do that in order to initialize um, our uh, session variables so the next thing uh, I will do is I will attempt to add a record. We're going to begin the transaction here and we're going to create a contact call contact and going to uh, have the first name equal to John and last name equal to Bill. And that's really all we had here for this object. And uh, I'm going to save this object 
to the database and uh, commit the transaction. Oops, it looks like I made a little typo here. Okay, so uh, this basically should um, write a record uh, to the database. So let's uh, walk through here and run it to see uh, what we get. Okay, I'm going to step through here. Ah, so here's our uh, first snag. I'm going to hit cancel and continue on. So uh, looks like we've got a problem here. Let me uh, stop and double check if uh, the data was written to the database. Ah, okay. Doesn't look like it has. Okay, let's double check um, something here. Ah, okay, so our uh, contact BHEM XML, which is our um, mapping uh, uh, XML, needs to be an embedded resource. So that's our first problem here. So I'm going to save that. And uh, let's try running it again, see if it likes it better. Ah, yep. So it looks like uh, that was the problem. And uh, our form popped up, which is a good sign. So uh, let me uh, query this um, database, and sure enough, our um, name is now in here. So let's see if we can take this a step further. And uh, so this was um, adding so let's see if we can uh, list our contacts. And uh, for that, we will use a similar uh, syntax. Well, except that we don't really need uh, to have a transaction, but let's have it anyway. So um, here we'll have an I uh, criteria. criteria. And an I list of type contact, we'll call it list equals to criteria that list of contact. All right, so uh. Here we could probably just do without the transaction, but uh, let's just uh, put a transaction around it anyway. And I will comment out the add um, statement. So uh, now if I uh, put a breakpoint here and run it, we should get a list of all the uh, records in the database. And if we hover over it, Sure enough, we have a record, which is John Doe, and it allows us to uh, list it. I hope that you found this uh, tutorial useful. Please subscribe and uh, leave any comments or suggestions you may have. Um, 
and stay tuned for uh, future uh, videos. Thank you.